Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Tim Joseph, and you are watching or listening to the Vivid Ascension podcast. And we need to talk. It's been a long minute, it's been a hot minute since I have posted a video or podcast episode. In fact, the last time I posted was in 2022. The message that I have for you today and the topic that I will briefly cover is do not give up. I think about the passion and excitement that I had back in 2022 when I revived this channel and had a new vision for the direction that I wanted to take it, that I wanted to take, yeah, that I wanted to take it. <laughs> so y'all, it's been a minute. And I failed. I in, in terms of my goals and the vision that I had, I failed and didn't even post a video in 2023. Here we are. It is now February of the year 2024. And maybe you started the new year with some goals. Maybe you started the new year with a few new year resolutions. And here you are midway through the month of February and Maybe a few of those goals and resolutions that you had have maybe already taken a back seat, or maybe they've fallen by the wayside. I'm here to tell you, my friend, do not give up. Don't give up on whatever goal it is that you have, whatever dream it is that you have. Please do not give up. And that's what I'm telling myself right now. And that's what I've been telling myself. In spite of a bit of embarrassment to have been so excited and passionate and motivated and uh, posting, you know, what I felt was a bit regularly, regularly for a short period of time and then allowing things to just fizzle out. Despite the feeling of embarrassment and feeling ashamed of myself. I'm not going to give up because that same passion, that same excitement that I had two years ago, I still have today. But this time, I have more of a plan. In fact, I have a plan. And when I look at what did I do wrong? How could I have allowed this to happen? It's because I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a consistent posting schedule. I didn't have a, a bank of videos that were already edited and recorded and ready to go in case I just didn't have the chance to record and I had something ready to post. And so, those are some of the changes that will take place this year. This channel is not going to fall by the wayside. I still have it in my heart to build a community. Vivid Ascension at its core is meant to encourage believers. And what better way for me to encourage you than to be genuine and authentic and real about where I'm at. That's what it's all about. So learn from me, okay? Do not give up on your dreams. About a month ago, my pastor, um, he, he preached. Uh, shout out, David, if you're listening to this. <laughs> he preached a beautiful sermon on dreams. And we are currently going through... Um, the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. And if you're at all familiar with the story of Joseph, you know that his story begins with a dream that he has. 
and following the revelation of this dream, Joseph then is sold into slavery by his brothers, becomes a servant slash slave, and is falsely accused, then becomes a prisoner, and it takes 17 years from the birth of this dream to it being realized in the physical realm. It was 17 years. Everything that Joseph encountered in those 17 years prepared him for his dream to take place. Everything that you have gone through, everything that you are currently walking through and enduring is preparing you for your dreams. I'm saying this to you. I'm saying this to myself because I need to hear it too. One of my favorite Bible verses is James chapter 1 verse 2. I've probably already quoted it in past videos and I'll continue to do so. It says, consider it pure joy when you go through trials of various kinds for the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So let steadfastness have its full effect, making you mature and complete, lacking in nothing. When you look at Joseph, he was a bit prideful or maybe immature. We won't say he was prideful, but he was a bit immature. Those challenges, without a doubt, matured him. And the beauty that we see in Joseph where, in many ways, his story is so comparable to Christ is that in spite of the challenges um, and trials that he faced, that he encountered, he still had a desire of focus. He was, he had this centering about himself in which he wanted to honor God and live a life that was honoring to himself and God, of course, being the priority. We can learn a lot from that, from the humility, from the focus of one, uh, on wanting to honor God, prioritizing honoring God in the midst of whatever disappointments we're experiencing in life. So let's take that with us as we continue to journey through this year of 2024. Now in the past, I remember 2022, I, I said, I said a lot of things. I feel like they were like empty promises <clears throat> and I'm sorry. I am, I am sorry. If you're still here, thank you. If you're watching this, thank you for uh, not giving up on me. Thank you for, if you're listening, for listening to this because it, it, it builds my faith. I'm not giving up this dream. I have a lot that I have prayed into and game planned for this year. And I'm excited for you to experience it. And I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. And I hope that this time next January or next February, we will sit together and look back and see the fruits of not giving up and continuing to pursue our dreams. So that's all I have for you. Thank you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. And I will see you soon. Peace.